Okay, so uh, what you're going to be seeing in uh, uh, the later part of the lab uh, this week, uh, in week four, uh, with your with your uh, MIDAC and Elvis, is this uh, what I'm calling a spectrum analyzer screen. Uh, in Elvis, they call it the um, dynamic signal analyzer uh, screen, and it's really just a spectrum analyzer. And it breaks input waveforms down into their frequency components. Um, square wave, you put a square wave in, you're going to get a screen that looks kind of like this. Uh, and uh, what you'll see is that, as we know, uh, there are no even harmonics uh, in a square wave. There are only odd harmonics. And so if you have a one kilohertz uh, waveform, then that will be the fundamental. And the one kilohertz waveform, uh, the, the uh, peak for one kilohertz shows up right there at one kilohertz. And... This would be the uh, peak at three kilohertz. That's the that is the third harmonic, um, and uh, it's at three kilohertz. And of course, then there's one at five and seven and nine and all of those. <clears throat> the other thing that we know is that the square the uh, square wave harmonics go down as one over n. And what that means is that the third harmonic is um, the third harmonic is one third of the fundamental harmonic. The fundamental being the one kilohertz uh, harmonic, and uh, but it doesn't look that way on this plot. Why? Because we are plotting in dB. If you take a look at that, that is dB um, magnitude in dB voltage RMS. So, um, and when you put the uh, when you put the cursors on the peaks of those the ends of those peaks, you get a difference. Uh, right here, and uh, what I'll do is I'll, uh, uh, let's see here, That's this is what I want to do. I want to take that off and that off, and um, now then I will um, draw around this point because this is what is telling you to be the difference between those two peaks, around 9.5, uh, it's D, the D is in delta dB uh, and, and voltage RMS. So how do you get that? Well, it's a it's a decibel uh, uh, equation, and so what you do is you say, well, we know that dB equals 20 log the ratio, the sum ratio of output over input or of something with respect to something else, and in this case it's the third harmonic with respect to the first harmonic, and we know that that ratio is 1 over 3, 1 over 3, and so what I want you to do is to pull out your calculator and make this calculation, and then you will be comparing it to the um, value that uh, is shown uh, right here, and it should be fairly close. Uh, and so uh, that's one of the steps, and you'll do that for each of the uh, each of the peaks that you see in the um, in the uh, in the screen. So uh, now the other part of it is, of course, is that the even harmonics, and I'll just call them uh, H's for now. I'll, I'll call them harms. Then we know what that is. Even harms. And let's see if I can get rid of that little, okay, well, even are all zero. And that means that the Fourier analysis of that, of the square wave, uh, there are the coefficients uh, of any um, uh, even harmonic are all zero. And so what does that work out to uh, in terms of dB? If you have zero for your ratio, zero uh, uh, being uh, the uh, then then what is um, what is your dB value? In that case, of course, it's 20 log zero, and so you have to figure that one out. Uh, that will be and that of course will uh, apply to all of the even harmonics. Uh, and these will obviously be the theoretical values. And so what you're actually going to be looking at is the actual values of the, um, uh, on the screen. And you will notice that these, um, you will notice that these even uh, harmonics, uh, they will jump up 
boom, they'll jump up to some level, and then they will uh, actually start coming back down. You'll see them, they'll, they'll, just, they'll just kind of work their way down, 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 until they get down to just about where this floor is. And then, and then, and then what happens? They will jump back up again. Boom, come back up, and then they will come back down again. And they just do this repeatedly. Well, what's actually going on here? What's actually going on is that the uh, system is, uh, uh, and uh, the uh, dynamic signal analyzer is doing some um, uh, analysis and it, or averaging. So the averaging goes on right here. It's doing average of five, basically five screenshots. And um, so, uh, you will see it as it goes down. Each time it adds another uh, screenshot to the average, the, uh, it goes down. And why is that? Because all you're seeing in these even harmonics is noise. And noise is kind of random, and it tends to average itself out to zero. And so it comes down to a, you know, uh, the, the true reading, then, for the even harmonics is down there right about where the noise floor is of the system. And that's sitting at about 95 dB down, minus 95. And a lot of times the, um, the peak will be at about minus 5. So you're down about 95 dB uh, uh, with the, um, with the uh, even harmonics. And so your actual calculation uh, then will be in a set of minus, uh, well, whatever the calculation is for the uh, the uh, the theoretical uh, on um, uh, on uh, the uh, the even the even harmonics, the actual will be around something around minus 95 dB or something like that. So uh, that's actually what's going on with the um, dynamic signal analyzer, or I think better better named uh, spectrum analyzer. Uh, portion of the um, MIDAC, which is, you know, a really handy thing. Uh, so, yeah, that's, this is the end of that video.